Tonight, people are mourning Atlanta rapper take off after someone shot and killed him Monday night in Houston, Texas. His death has impacted so many across the world, the hip hop community, and of course, at his hometown of Lawrenceville. Channel 2's Justin Carter is live from the high school where Takeoff graduated. Justin. Hey, Wendy. Hey, George. Yes, this has certainly been a traumatic year for Atlanta hip hop artists. As you remember, we lost Archie Eversaw back in April. We lost rapper Trouble back in June in Rockdale County. And now we've lost Takeoff. Unfortunately, we've lost Takeoff. I did speak to a professor who specializes in hip hop culture. She says that this is not a rap problem. This is a human problem. Dr. Lakita Bonnet Bailey felt what millions of people did when she woke up to the news Tuesday morning. I was devastated. Take Off, the youngest member of the Grammy-nominated rap trio Migos, was dead, known to many as the peaceful one, quiet, who loved his life as an artist. Houston Police Chief Troy Finner made it very clear in a news conference Tuesday. And I want to pause again because sometimes the hip-hop community gets a bad name. And I know and evident from this city and people who I have a personal relationship, a lot of great people in our hip hop community and I respect them. Chief Finner says that he sees the violence hip hop artists are facing and he cannot stop it alone. And I'm calling up on everybody, our hip hop artists in Houston and around the nation. I want to meet with some of our artists and see how we can taper things down. Police calling on the public to come forward with any information. This shooting is just indicative of the violence that we have in society today. Dr. Bonnet Bailey is a professor at Georgia State. She specializes in hip hop culture and politics. She says it's a stereotype to assume that all rap artists are linked to violence. So I think critics will say, well, if this is a type of life you have been living, then this is what might happen. But I don't think that that is actually true. She says it has a lot to do with the climate we're in as a society. You have to still remember that rap is an art form. She says often people link rap lyrics to crime as well, then focus on the root of the problem. When we hear about rappers, we assume that they are people that are immune to this type of violence because they should have more protection or they should be in places where they are guarded. Um, but what we're seeing is that they are not as guarded or as protected as anyone else in society. Channel 2's Justin Carter joining us again from Gwinnett County. Justin, people are coming together right now to console one another. In fact, you just ran into Migos' manager at the school you're at today. Wendy, I did. I walked up right to him. He said that he is simply devastated about this. He had tears in his eyes. He was being consoled by uh, student, the student body, uh, st school staff members and students um, as well. He told me that the family, again, is devastated about this. Most of them traveled to the Houston area today uh, to be there as well. Now, we also did hear back from his record label. They say that the senseless violence and a stray bullet has taken another life from this world, and we are devastated, Wendy. Of course, so many people are devastated and our thoughts and prayers go out to that family dealing with so much tonight. Thank you so much, Justin. Now, the rest of the statement from the label that represents Takeoff and the group says, quote, it is with broken hearts and deep sadness that we mourn the loss of our beloved brother, Kersnick Kari Ball, known to the world as Takeoff. Houston police say the shooting happened after a private party ended and an argument started between unknown individuals. Police say two other victims in the shooting were taken to a hospital. Those two are expected to survive. Once again, police are asking anyone with any information on that shooting to contact them immediately.